Hello and welcome to Celestial Space Facts. Today video consists of 10 magnificent constellations and their meaning. Let's get started. Have you ever looked up at the sky and wondered how many stars, galaxies or Milky Ways are there? We humans have been so advanced in technology that we have explored so much about space. One of the most beautiful things that we found is constellations. According to many different mythologies, each constellation that we have found out tells a story behind it. Greek astronomers, Indian astronomers and Chinese astronomers did a lot of research on these constellations. These constellations are also associated with ancient time that have been mentioned in books and epics. Let's get started. First we always talk about Ursa Major. See the first of all see the shape 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and they call it 2 pair 11, 12, 13. This is Ursa Major. Ursa Major. Big Deeper Astron is formed by biggest star of constellation. The Ursa Major which lies in the northern sky among all the northern constellations. It is the largest constellation known to humankind and is also third largest constellation in the sky. Ursa Major is known as the Great Bear and is very popular among people who links it with number of myths and superstitions. In Greek mythology, one such story is that Ursa Major is associated with nymph named Callisto who was turned into bear because of jealousy by Hera, wife of Zeus. Wow, what a story. Then Cus Pigag. Pegasus. Dekho, Pegasus kaisa hai? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wow. This constellation is named after the winged hawk Pegasus in Greek mythology. Pegasus is the seventh large constellation out of 88 constellations discovered so far. The story behind the constellation is that it is associated with a horse named Pegasus that has wings in magical power. It was born with Medusa blood and become the horse of hero of Greek mythology who was given a mission to kill a monster named Chimera. Mission was succeeded with the help of goddess of wisdom Athena and Pegasus the horse. Okay, good. Then comes the Ursa Minor. Ursa Minor to hum dekhte hi hai. Normally, I also use to see, dekho, yera Polaris, this is UMI, this is Ursa Major, these are, malab, is tarah ka jo bana hota hai, hum dekhte hai. Ursa Minor also lies in the Northern Hemisphere, like Ursa Major, and name of the constellation is similar beer in Latin. The Greek, the Greek astro astronomer, was first man to list it in 2nd century along with Ursa Major. There are many stories that are linked to constellation by the Greeks. One of the story is Jesus' father Cronus was scared of an old prophecy which was that one from his all children will kill him and become supreme god so he swallowed five of his children. Jesus' mother Rhea tricked Cronus to by making him swallow a stone instead of Jesus due to which prophecy become true. Wow, what a story. Yaar. An Orion. Orion you can see and I also sometimes thought of seeing the Orion. The Orion constellation is one of the most beautiful and brightest constellation in the sky which lies in the Cent, uh, celestial equator. It consists of two of the brightest stars called Regal and Betelgeuse, some famous nebula and famous astron, the Orion Belt. According to the Sumerian mythology, the constellation is associated with the hero Orion who fought with the bull of heaven 
which was depicted by Taurus, which is another constellation in sky. Taurus. Taurus means bull in Latin and it is oldest constellation in the northern sky dating back to Bronze Age. Claudius was first Greek astronomer to list it in 2nd century. The Taurus constellation has the bright stars like El Eldebaran, Elanath and Asikon. There are many more amazing things that the constellation holds such as Crab Nebula, Crystal Ball Nebula and Mero Nebula. According to the Epic of Gilagmesh, Taurus is bull of heaven sent by the goddess Ishtar to defeat. He defeat, uh, rejected her demands. Virgo. Virgo is like this. In the 2nd century, the Greek astronomer discovered this constellation. Virgo lies in the southern hemisphere and holds one of the brightest stars named Sp Spica. The Sombero galaxy, the eye galaxies, the twins and are among the deep sky objects with this constellation hold. It is the second largest constellation in the sky with the area of 1 to 9 4 square degrees. In many stories, the constellation is associated with goddess who died by hanging herself as she couldn't bear the loss of her father. Gemini Found in the northern celestial hemisphere, Gemini constellation means the twins in Latin. Castor and Pollux are the two bright stars of Gemini constellation. It, is an, it is, has an area of 514 square degree and is 30th largest constellation in the sky. According to the mass, Gemini constellation is associated with the twins name. Together were called that Cancer. Cancer is like this, occupying the area of about 506 square degrees. Cancer constellation is the 31st largest constellation in the sky and is located in the northern sky. Cancer is located with the giant crab in the great mythology and it is believed that Hera the jealous goddess sent a crab to kill Hercules who is the Greek hero but God defeated itself and was thrown to the sky after being killed by Hercules. Then comes the Caspio. Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia constellation lies in the north of sky and is popularly known because of its estuary that is follow formed by the brightest star. They made her sacrifice her daughter Andromeda to the sea monster who was later rescued by Greek hero Perseus. Aquarius Aquarius meaning of Aquarius is water carrier and Aquarius constellation is one of the oldest constellation known to the humankind. The constellation doesn't have bright stars with other constellations. The brightest star in the constellation are Alpha and Beta Aquaria. According to the Greeks, this constellation is associated with Aquarius, the water carrier or cup carrier, according to the Latin. I hope this is wonderful. I have learned about these constellations and feeling very amazed. Thank you so much for joining to Celestial Space Facts and please do like, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel that is Celestial Space Facts. Love, love. Have a nice day.